Hi, today I'll be showing you what's possible to do with your computer in VR using the latest version of Virtual Desktop, which supports motion controls. Know that every, everything I do today is possible with both the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift, as they have the same inputs. So unlike many other apps, the controllers in Virtual Desktop don't act as a regular uh, mouse pointer. Uh, they're actually uh, much more comfortable than precise. Um, whenever you hit the trigger or X and A button, it actually simulates a touch input to the screen in front of you. So you can use uh, all the gestures that you're familiar with on a tablet, uh, like a swipe to scroll or a pinch to zoom. And it's, it's very easy to use your computer. You can also use the uh, grip buttons to control the size of the screen. Another thing that's important to do if you want to use the key, the on-screen keyboard in Virtual Desktop is you have to go to your control, your settings in Windows 10, uh, devices, then typing. And the last option at the bottom is called show touch keyboard when not in tablet mode and there's no keyboard attached, make sure this is on. So this means that whenever you type into uh, uh, like a text field, it's gonna bring up the uh, on-screen keyboard, which you can then use your controllers to look and type. It takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, but it can actually be quite uh, productive. Uh, so here again, I, pin I can pinch the zoom if the text is too small, or I can make the screen bigger. So one other useful thing uh, on your computer is that you have um, Cortana, which can help you uh, do various things with your PC, and it's particularly useful in uh, VR. You can say, for example, hey Cortana, launch Hearthstone. Okay, starting Hearthstone. Hearthstone supports touch input which makes it a perfect game to play in virtual desktop with your Vive or touch controllers. Of course, you can also use uh, Cortana to launch Netflix. Hey Cortana, open Netflix.com. I'll bring up Netflix.com. That's good. Can I trust Jim? I don't know. Do I have a choice? No. Frankly, I don't. Will I trust Jim? Yes. Should I trust Jim? You tell me. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.